of entities inside the body. You, you got to always be aware, separate the matter condition than the Gans condition, and then you see how the things happen. In the body of a man, water, liquid as a liquid, uh, as water we drink as a matter, does not exist. Due to gravitational magnetic field, all the interactions are um, magnetic gravitational field dependent, as a Gans of the matter. And these affect very much the, the light, the amount of energy as a light, plasmatic magnetic field passing through the eye, because of the closeness of the eyeballs to the uh, emotional part, the field they release, which never goes through the uh, neural system, affects the emotion. The effect on the emotion through light system, through the eyeball, is far beyond man has ever understood up to now. And they will not understand till they realize that the information through the eye, uh, through the plasmatic magnetic field, which comes through the liquid of the eye, is directly interacts and works with the emotional part of the man. That's why, if you look more or less, they sit at the, more or less at the, at the right level. Uh, on the other hand, um, the, there is a structure within the brain, or within the skull of the man, make sure the right information, uh, the I apologize for the, uh, the uh, broken workshop today. We're having trouble with the connection once again from the Spaceship Institute. Okay. What's the next question? Okay. Um, there is a question from Ivan who says, um, why are there different blood types in the body? And is the blood type dependent on what kind of food we should eat? Uh, I think he means what kind of... Uh, uh, blood type... Uh, as we know, uh, comes by the evolution of the man and according to the environment he's lived. Uh, I think uh, this has to be done uh, O and A and B and AB and different versions of it, which is very dependent on how we evolved from the time where we started, the food we consumed, and in what kind of life we lived. There is a process, I know, because uh, there are, they call it uh, eat as your blood type. Um, so, because we evolved, and in the evolution, we had access to certain food, and um, we are, we feel the strength of the red blood cells adjusted to be, be able to accept that kind of food. O is the original, and then the rest comes by the conversion and application of the food. I think there is about 15 different types of blood types. A, uh, A, B. So we need it, we need it, about 15 different types. Ivan does go on yeah. to, uh, uh, Ivan does go on to say in the rest of the question, in other words, are people with different blood types absorbing the energy of the same food in different ways? So yes, they do. Okay. They do. They do. Because it goes back again to the digestion system and how the, what I call, uh, you call it enzymes and the liquid of the stomach recognizes, absorbs. Um, I always say the, the food we eat and the information or energy which is absorbed from it is exactly the, like the vision. I look at the picture, to me is uh, orangish red and to other one is reddish orange. We are both looking at the same picture. Uh, so we take from, according to what our density of body is, or the liquid of our eyes, or the body is, that we can take from it. Uh, I can take a calcium from a food, and you take a sodium from the same food. This is decided by 
the uh, more or less by a parathyroid gland. Parathyroid gland decides what conversion rate where is needed and it needs to be done. Uh, the work of the parathyroid glands, as I keep on saying, is not fully understood. Once they fully understood uh, the work of the, uh, the, I think in the whole of Western Europe, I think there are only three doctors who are getting to know um, the work of the parathyroid glands in detail, in, in approximately trying to explore it. One of them is in Cambridge. Um, so, a lot of doctors talk about it, but they don't understand it, it's just there. So, they control what you absorb, and then what you absorb from the food decides what goes in your lymph, and then it decides what becomes through the lymph, which goes through your bone, that becomes the blood, that then you become part of your blood, red blood, and it goes in your body. So, when you say, what has the blood type to do with the food, because what you eat becomes the lymph, the lymph becomes, grows the bone marrow, becomes your own blood, so it has to reflect where it came, the origin of it. So, yes, what, what you eat, what you digest, and the type of food and the way your bone marrow converts and your bone creates um, the immune system and red blood cells, dictated by the food, the area you are in, and then we call it different type of blood. Uh, all the O's haven't disappeared, they are still here and they regenerate, and because they can absorb full spectrum of the uh, uh, of food which was available to man and is available to man. In so many ways, the more we became specialized in food digestion, we have changed the structure of the, or the limbs have changed, and in turn the limb changing, the red blood cells which are created by the lymph have changed. You got to, and I keep on explaining this, but somehow misses the whole point, Bits are not created out of your body, out of nowhere. Your bone doesn't just happen to create uh, blood or uh, T-cells or B-cells. These are part of what you've eaten, what you've put in and what you get out, to control in what you eat. So when you say, if the blood type is connected to the food, of course, because it's the food which you've eaten, which is energy, is come uh, a lymph, and the lymph has become your blood. I was talking to our Chinese uh, Keshe Foundation colleagues today, lunchtime. Uh, we, are, we are going into production in China, and they are running a test, and uh, uh, he said to me, our system is just literally bleeding, just, just red material is coming out of it, we're just collecting buckets. And I said to, and he said, do you know something which is a strange? The thing has life, it just looks like living. I said, of course, what do you expect? We've seen this here in the lab in Keshe Foundation, but at that time, the knowledge seekers were too, too, not mature to understand it. But too young, as Elia says. Yeah, you can't blame them, they never grow up, they always like to play. But uh, the, the, the Chinese, because we are building different systems with the cash foundation support there. And uh, the guy tells me, it's just literally us, just, just dripping, like dripping blood. I said, look. And he said, it only comes from the connections, from the junctions. I said, the junctions, those are our metal, iron. And then, immediately at that point, because you're trying to create a GANS, you're creating a fat, or what we call amino acid on the top, and this automatically, the iron oxide touches the, the amino acid, which is on the layer, it becomes fat. So, what he said, I can't see any fat layer on the top, I said, of course. Because whatever fat layer is produced around the plate, immediately due to the uh, iron which is coming in, as oxidization converts it to, to like your blood, you, you're, you're literally creating homoglobin. And he said, it's alive, it just, it just like moves. So, we've seen this here, when I explained to the knowledge seekers months ago. Your blood 
is according to what you make it available to it to become. And it doesn't come out of air. Another name for lymph, when it goes to your bone structure and adds to itself certain amount of iron, becomes blood. So you call it the blood or you call it lymph with iron, it's all the same. There's no difference. So, uh, your food you eat, and then this changes how, what it goes as a blood, in what you've eaten, affects the energy which it carries to your brain, to the emotional side. And this goes back, we were talking about why the difference between the Indians and the Pakistanis, who eats more blood uh, animal, and how they change their behavior. Then you understand how you still stay A or B, but your cell carries different amount of information energy in a plasmatic form. Then the brain reacts to it, because it receives too much information and it has to digest. Emotional part has to digest a lot of suffering which the physical part brings it. And it has to siphon this, because the soul does not accept it. And this is why we see what we call aggression, and what we call anger and all that. Because what comes to emotional part and cannot be converted and transferred to the soul, which is always in balance, it only takes what it needs, it has to be assumed internally, it has to be stored internally. You store the physical entities in your liver. Liver is your deposit bank. Emotional part has and has to handle the material, the energies which come through the lymph and through the behavior. If you look at the structure of the thalamus of the uh, very heavy criminals, and very gentle people, you see totally different structure. When you look at the MRIs, if you're doctors, and look at the area of the thalamus, you see it. Some people who have MS, and they push themselves to the limitation of literally reusing their own tissue, and it creates a lot of pain, you find out, when you look at their MRI, uh, the, the thalamus has a different structure. So, now you understand how the process goes on. You eat the food, and in the amount of energy, the food you've eaten, which changes into a gans, transfers its energy across the wall of the stomach to the lymph, and this amount of energy has to convert through the structure of the bone to blood, and then you say the, 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 the blood comes from bone marrow, as when we spoke about the bone, bone structure. Then this blood has a different strength with a man who is a vegetarian, or the man who is an animal eater. But, in essence, still carries the original information of what the blood was. As you divert and diverse from into roots and into uh, what you call uh, like seeds, you continuously change and change and change. And we see in the as far as I can remember, there are actually fifteen type of bloods: O, A, A, B, and A, B. These are the top of the rank, but there are other divisions into it as well. So, yes, what you eat, decides your blood type, because your blood is made of your own limbs, which is what you ate. Next question. And the question is how we are able to clean the part of the liver? Oh, yeah, this, when we come to liver, we discuss this. The, the liver is a huge bank, and cleaning it out is very difficult. Okay. It's easier than, than cleaning the central reserve bank than the liver. So blood type depends on the food then? Of course. 
I think we got there, or you lost our voice. <laughs> yeah, but you look no, at... You can't you change at, your you blood type, this. though, right? You can't change your blood type by changing food. No, no. Because right. there is something, go back a step further back. The blood type is created in the bone. And the bone structure decides the type of the blood, according to what you've eaten. The soft part, the, what they call this, as uh, Elia likes to say, is the spongy part of the, of the bone. This spongy part is nanomaterial layer. It literally is like what you separate the guns from the, uh, from the uh, copper plates. So you, your nano layers decide in what fields you release and how, uh, how the, the, what do you call, the guns of blood stays. So, so, so in a way, uh, Mr. Kesha, people should be known by their bone types instead of their blood types. It's more uh, basic. Yes, it's your more bone structure, original. your bone nano layers of your bone structure decides, and it's the way it is. Uh, look at a lot of things in in the, um, in, in the structure of the man, uh, and then you understand a lot how the body has adopted yourself. Um, if you look at the what happened, you made enough noise. No, Who did you shoot fire, in there? Board uh, just board. went up. Yeah, no problem. Um, so somehow the earth moves when Armand walks around, so <laughs> a board fell. Uh, what happens is that if you look at the nations or cultures, which the farming of certain, um, what do you call it, agricultural products are cultivated, and how they are harvest changes the structure of the physical structure of the man to feed that because he finds the shortest way to do and according to that you find that the blood changes to accommodate that use of the body for that purpose i studied this in a lot of detail in in belgium when i lived there you uh, find before we continue, when you say the blood changes, you don't mean the blood type changes, but the blood itself changes. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. Okay, just to be clear. The blood, the blood type. Uh, yeah. Let, I mean, uh, we can ask Dr. Elliot to tell us what is the difference between O and A and B. What is the difference? How do you call it the A? And they know they ask. They think. We are able to change our blood type. In all generations, yes. Over generations, yes. That's how we changed, yes. If okay. that's a short answer. Thank you. But the thing is, the way you work, where you live, the way you eat and work to live, dictates the blood change more than anything else. The blood change, if you live in China with all the pollution and you're in the office work, it never changes if you live in New York. Somehow, through the structure of the working, the feed changes the structure of the blood. Which means, the people who harvest the food and cultivate the food, they establish the change of the blood. Then you have to go back to the emotion and how they put and what they see, and what they see as their survival. And I've studied this in detail in Belgium, regarding what you call people who make um, what you call uh, linen. People who work in the fields um, harvesting linens over generations, they have a, a specific, very much like what we call baraban blood uh, structure. Very heavy at the hip, short legs, short upper legs, because of the way they have to carry, harvest and grow this material. And it goes right through the blood all the sisters, and it's mainly women who carry this, not the men. Ankles are about two or three times the normal. 
because they have to stand the short, the carrying the weights, the way it is, what has been for them. And then they, they change, because then they use the seed of it for different purposes for food as well. The, the, what you wear as a linen shirt, uh, has uh, seeds which is consumed as food. They make bread with it. They make uh, all kinds of things with it. So that, in turn, uh, the, the, in, in, there is a connection in, in the harvest, the people who connect, collect seed and sow the harvest and the change of blood. Now you understand why I discussed this. Next question. Is the common proportion in macrophages in the human body which determine the human bone mass creation? Is there some part of the body which particularly conduct this process of food distribution? Uh, sounds like we lost the SSI again. And that actually is a really good point, um, Amarok, is that the defense system that Mr. Kesh has put up around the house could be interfering with the signal. Well, there's an interesting little discussion in itself. <laughs> and he did claim that it uh, was to be an effective defense system for electromagnetic and interference we've all, we've been, and so been, on. But we've been taught this from the very beginning. The first public workshop that we ever did, he told us that the fields, uh, if you're using an, a remote control car, um, uh, re remote control controller, it won't be able to penetrate the fields if the field is strong enough. Right, so we were concerned, I, out I, there. I was concerned with the controls for my reactor, which are remote, con remote uh, control car <laughs> controls, that the indicator that the system was working is if the controls never uh, controls stopped working so that was would not be a good uh, system control to have that when when your reactor starts working your controls stop working however however you, it is a good indicator if you have a um, gravitational magnetic field base that's the same as the inside of the gravitational magnetic field that you're using so basically you have an antenna that's tuned to the same magrav field that you're creating, you shouldn't have a problem. And communications might work within the, the um, defense system, but not getting in and out of it. They might have to use uh, the instant communication system that Mr. Kesh has been uh, hinting at lately. And I think it's time for some kind of implement implementation of that instantaneous uh, communication system. I think we need to start... Um, I started um, a long time ago, Rick. <laughs> I'm still working. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we need to work with it with Mr. Kesh to get a more practical application of real-time communication so that we can actually, at some point, perhaps bypass this the uh, ordinary systems, no matter where we are in the universe. Exactly, and that's to do with the magrav field that you create with your GANs, which is, okay, so it, it, we can all relate this back to health. You gotta remember, even though we're talking in terms of reactors, uh, we can relate this back to health, uh, because the magrav field of ourselves, we can also um, influence that with the environment that we created within ourselves. And uh, being able to communicate between GANs. Oh, my recording just stopped. Okay, Mr. Kesh tried calling me. Can you try? Can you try um, adding Mr. Kesh again? Adding Elia and Mayran. I'll try both. <clears throat> he just tried calling me, so I didn't see it. Um, yeah, so we can all relate this back into ourselves. <laughs> Says he's busy. He's probably leaving me a message. <laughs> Was that ourselves or ourselves? Well, ourselves both. are ourselves, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so making are they? The, what I'm they, saying is making the instant communication with the Gans 
um, is the same as making the instant, instant communication with ourselves. Uh, so once we find the, the answers that we're looking for to be able to communicate with the GANs, uh, we should be able to transpose that into communicating with ourselves. Of course, I'm not talking about sending a uh, internet signal through ourselves for somebody else. I'm talking about uh, communication, which is, of course, telepathy. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good question, but uh, we don't have time for it, is the telepathy aspect, but I don't think he would go into that at that point. Right. Yep. That's a, a good one for a topic for a whole health workshop, perhaps. Okay, uh, back on live stream, and uh, we're just going to finish off the 10th health teaching workshop with Mr. Kesh and he wanted to add something uh, we had some bad connection before but now we can hear so he wanted to add something to the end and we'll connect with him now uh, yes what I was explaining um, uh, before recording is that due to the research and developments we've done over years in different aspects of technology in respect to the health, uh, emotional and psychological and physical uh, application of the technology. This was, we were going to announce um, today, but with all the complication and the problems with the lines, we, we got disconnected. And that is, uh, within the Cash Foundation, with the trials we've done, we have enough knowledge to be able to reverse or to allow people who are addicted to drugs like cocaine or whatever it could be or hashish and that kind of thing to stop the, the addiction and the way it's done as we see it and in our trials there are no withdrawals with this procedure um, people naturally just come off it and we've seen this with the people naturally who've been in bed paralyzed for years, just walk off the bed. Uh, the process reaches the psychological part of the brain, which refuses to accept the drugs in the physical part. Um, the volunteers who have been through this process, after two or three weeks, they say they don't want even to touch it because it tastes horrible. It, it they don't they can't even understand the material anymore. So uh, we were discussing it yesterday with uh, Dr. Elia and Armin, and Armin was so uh, excited. Says this has to go out. We have so many young people in America who are dying, and there is a new thing called um, that their skin comes off and literally flesh falls off. Uh, it's called crocodile or something, and uh, he he wants it to be put out as a matter of urgency that um, there is such a possibility available from the Cash Foundation, uh, and we have put uh, on a specific. We we looked at it, everything else. If the people who want to try this procedure with the Cash Foundation, if you're drug addicts or cocaine or uh, heroin addicts. Um, the foundation has put a value or research value at a donation of 5,000 euro, which is one of the lowest ever foundation has for. Uh, anything we do which we want to make it commonly be applicable, we bring it to this low level that it can be done. So if you want to try and add to our knowledge, as of um, today, we accept if you've got addiction to be tested and to be brought up uh, to see if we can help you out of the situation. Uh, from what we've seen from the trials, there is no withdrawal symptoms because body just naturally, it's like you never had addiction to it. And this is one of the things which has surprised us in our trials. On the other hand, uh, we have developed a new cycle of the uh, systems. that some of the diseases which are on the list of the 41 uh, will be brought down to 5,000 value, more or less all of them will be brought down to 5,000 within the coming weeks and days. 
as we are developing new simpler technologies application and as the health centers and the development of the commercialization is rapidly growing. So as we brought the cancer to 5,000, um, now the kit for the drug addiction will be the same. Um, the, uh, the kit for all sorts of diseases will be brought down case by case, we're gonna look. And when you make your application, you have to put in your application that uh, what the disease is, and if you like to be considered for the 5,000 project, this is what a 5,000 donation. Please, if you approach us, make life easier for yourself and for us. When you fill in the applications, when you make a request, make sure the financial means for you is there to carry out the process. Do not come to us and then they say, I cannot donate, can you give it to me free? The decision has passed the foundation. We decide who and where and what, and we have enough people online queue to receive the systems in different parameters by donation or whatever. So, if you are interested in any of the 40 um, lists, you, uh, you can put on it, you would like to be considered for 5,000 projects, which is a 5,000 euro donation. And then we respond to you if we are looking or we will consider that position depending on what and how we have to do it. But the addiction kit, what we call it as of uh, today, is it will be considered for anyone with addiction at 5,000 euro, which is less than what they spend most probably in a month or two in their addiction. And uh, to clarify, Mr. Kess, that, that wouldn't mean that someone would have to visit um, Malta or Italy or anything, that would be something that would be, uh, they'd able to be able to be used at home, is, is that true? Yes, all our systems are, nobody needs to travel anymore. The time of traveling to sea is finished, we make a Skype call if we need to, and then we monitor. We, we have no problem in that respect. Uh, you don't need to travel anywhere to, to be able to benefit by the knowledge of the foundation. We ship materials all over the world now. We are I literally got the for you all then. Our continents. Pardon? Sorry. Um, the uh, we should be able to also do these things once we have a, uh, the understanding of how to do this medically, um, and this will also be able to be done with the people that have the CO two kits as well. Is that right? No, it's totally different. The the addiction kit is totally different. Uh, the addiction kit is, is a two-piece part, and it has to be done through, uh, through what you call it, through the breathing and uh, water system. CO2 is not the answer to everything. CO2 is a channel for energy and for the space reactors. Um, part of the CO2 is used for Ebola because of uh, uh, energy virus dependent section of it. We are opening the more and more uh, next next week when we have the our Chinese um, group here for the manufacturing. Uh, we will introduce what we call the uh, healing pads at 120 dollars, 120 euro that you can apply it anywhere you have a pain muscle, joint muscle. You apply it for maybe two or three days and it can eradicate permanently most of the pain, or all of the pain. And Dr. Elia has used it herself, and Armand has used it here when he's been in that kind of condition. And they use just once use, it changes everything. Uh, we will release the cup of life in the coming week as a set, uh, in the coming days, once we finish in China. China will become the center of the production, and we see this as a, as a pathway for the foundation's work, for showing the power of the technology. It's not just uh, what has been there. We think we have found a very good partners for the foundation's manufacturing, and they work on the same ethos as we do on an open basis. And uh, so it will help quite a lot of people. But uh, the addiction kit, if you're addicted, if you've got a problem with addiction, um, just send an email to health uh, uh, at Cash Foundation under the contact and put in their addiction title. 
the form will be sent to you. Just fill in the form, put your blood test, and um, we'll make the sign the documents which are sent to you. Make your donation, and uh, within within days, we will release the units. There is something which is got in on the wing. Hopefully, once it's done here, completed. The, and the, what do you call it? The star formation kits will be offered to China. That people would like to do test at home with this uh, the formation, a complete kit you can buy from the foundation. And we most probably the size of a football. Um, then we'll see what happens. There's a lot of development now. We're coming out of the closet in in retail, in what do you call it? Commercializing. And we'll see what we got. But, but the health at the moment is, is a priority for us in so many ways. And um, uh, we gone back into the same structures we had in Belgium for about two or three years, that uh, we will run health um, appointments on Tuesdays from 12 to 4 o'clock. And then if need be, we increase it to two or three times a week. So the cases we accept will be on the Skype, but that we can't see what we escape, we accept and what it is. We're going back to the structure system as we used to be, and we are considering a lot of different options. But the whole situation will change in the next two weeks, hopefully, if the peace treaty is signed between Iran and uh, 5 plus 1. And as we've seen, uh, the move is on the other side, that they are prepared to move. And you've got to realize that making movies, uh, even though it looks like it's just on the surface, is that the foundation and the technology does not go back and get buried in China or in Japan. And uh, the way it looks, the Chinese and Japanese are very much active in around this, as you've seen in the agriculture, but in Chinese section, uh, these are offices of government who are doing the agricultural test. It's not somebody as a, as a hobby. Yeah, and this is how it is, and that's how it works. Okay, thank you, thank, thank you, Mr. Kesh. Is there anything else you'd like to add at this point? Um, oh, really? We're just researching and development is done, and uh, at the moment, every day more boxes are leaving for the, what do you call it? Oh, for the, uh, 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 the CO2. CO2. Yeah, the CO2 kits are um, very much on the way. Yeah, that's good news, and people are reporting in already that they've received the kits. So, oh, they um, have it. Pardon me. Say again. Sorry. I'm happy with what they received. Have you got any feedback? Yes, there was yes, a feedback was. in the Cash Foundation um, Facebook, and it was uh, an excitement. Yes, it was definitely an excitement. Yep. <laughs> Actually, we do things as well by the by the look of it, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's right. No. It's good to have a product like that to to it, showcase. We need to be able to do things, and now we have uh, slowly getting the freedom to do what we are supposed to do. So just for the live stream people as well, the CO2 kit video is available on the Cash Foundation YouTube site. It will be available on the banners on the main site and the forums uh, probably today or tomorrow. Yeah. There's a lot of work for uh, Armon and Marco to get this thing done. I have to explain something to you. We we are in a position that with what happened with the poisoning of me and Caroline, now there are three more people being poisoned who's been here. Uh, so the, the situation can become in an open um, case internationally because these are not Italians. So please keep the two things about what's happening to us and what's happening to the Foundation totally separate. Because um, in the long run, they, they, they are connected, but in a way they are separate. So we have to keep it that way. And there is a person in the live stream that also said they have received their kit, and it looks great. Thank you, 
you very much. All the best. We're trying to put as much as we can out. These are orders in hundreds. This is not orders in a few. And the Italians um, could not do it, so it's getting done here. We try to meet the demand in the next two weeks. We should be completing the numbers which is coming through. It is amazing how much uh, is coming through, how people are responding to this. Well, everybody wants to try to save the planet, and they've been taught that the CO2 is what's causing the problem. So let's mitigate the problem that they think is causing the problem. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing even the Prime Minister has ordered it. This was shocked us here. The, the order which has come from the Prime Minister, and he's very open, he's put his name exactly where it is and who he is. Uh, and he's one of the top, uh, what do you call it, of the top ten nations in the world, so he's openly, in a way, must be supporting the Foundation's work. We'll see what happens, how are we going to go. We call it the day, because we have a long way to go yet. Thank All you once again, Mr. Cash, very much, and thanks for that addition at the end there. That was great. That will help round out the workshop. If you are addicted or you know people who are addicted, we would like to develop this technology to fight this part. And addiction apparently is one of the biggest problems. And the, the problem is what we've seen, people who, get, who come off this addiction with the system, they never touch again, because now we have four years of records. So it's, they don't even have the, what do you call it, the crave to go back to it by the look of it. You, can, see what you can give your addiction to science. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Cash, I, I just thought about this, but does the addiction include gambling? Yes. Sex, Great. gambling. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, heroin. Uh, there's there's different ways of alcohol. Chocolate. Woo! Belgians, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Belgian chocolate. You can help people get off of Belgian chocolate. No, well, no, not no. wanting to touch chocolate again would be very bad. <laughs> very bad. That's a very good addiction. <laughs> We'll leave it as that, and we speak on Tuesday. Thank you very much for all your work. I Thank appreciate you, too. It. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. And so ends um, the second part of the 10th Health Teaching Workshop. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.